Hello viewers, here is Dr. Mala Das Sharma. Welcome you to my channel Chemphilic. Today we will start video number 82 and video number 82 is the 24th episode of Chemical Thermodynamics and in this 24th episode once again we will discuss few more numerical problems that is part 2 on first law of thermodynamics and work of expansion of gas. So let's start. Before starting the problems, let's recapitulate the formulate. Already in my previous video, I have told you or I have discussed that this pressure volume work done by the gas or done on the gas, that formula is P constant pressure into change in the volume. Second one, that is heat exchanged at constant pressure according to first law of thermodynamics is equal to change in the internal energy then plus this pressure volume work done by the gas or done on the gas. When work is done by the gas, sign will be negative. Work is done on the gas, then the pressure volume work sign will be positive. Now, at constant volume, when there is no change in the volume, that is delta V is equal to 0. Here, if we put it 0 delta V, in that case, that heat absorbed at constant volume will be equal to only the change in internal energy. At constant pressure, when there is no change in the internal energy, because we know internal energy is the function of temperature. So at constant pressure, delta E will be equal to zero. In that case, heat exchange at constant pressure will be equal to only the pressure volume work. Now coming to the formula of work done in isothermal reversible expansion of ideal gas. That work done W is equal to, already we have derived this formula in my previous video. NRT, N is the number of moles of the gas, R is universal gas constant, T is temperature in Kelvin into 2.303 log final volume by initial volume that is V2 by V1 or we can write NRT into 2.303 log P1 by P2 that is initial pressure by final pressure. Now let's apply this formula and solve the problems. Coming to problem number 4. Let's see what is problem number 4. Absorption of 100 calories of heat by a gas results in an increase of its volume by 20 liter while expanding against a constant pressure of 1 atmosphere. Calculate the change in internal energy. So, 100 calories of heat is absorbed by the gas whereby increase in the volume is 20 liter against the constant pressure of 1 atmosphere. So, first let's calculate the pressure volume work done by the gas because here it is expansion. During expansion work is done by the gas. So, pressure volume work delta V is equal to constant pressure here it is 1 atmosphere into this increase in volume that is 20 that means is equal to 20 liter atmosphere. Now this 20 liter atmosphere this unit will be we will be taking it to calorie unit. How we can do it from the value of the universal gas constant R. We know that R is equal to 0 0.082 liter atmosphere or 2 calorie or 8.3 joules. So, 0 0.082 liter atmosphere is equal to 2 calorie. So, 20 liter atmosphere will be equal to from this unitary method that is 487.8 calorie. Now, we have to calculate the change in internal energy. From first law, we know that heat exchange is equal to change in internal energy and then this pressure volume work. So, change in internal energy will be equal to 
this heat exchange here heat is absorbed so sign is positive then the work done by the gas here it is expansion so this is this will be negative plus qp minus w so delta e will be equal to 100 minus 487.8 all are in calorie so finally delta e value or change in internal energy value will be minus 387.8 calorie coming to problem number 5 2500 joules of heat energy was removed from a gas the gas was compressed at a constant pressure of 3 atmosphere from 25 liter to 15 liter. Now, first part of the problem is how much work was performed by the gas or on the gas. Second part, calculate the change in internal energy. So, 2500 joules of heat energy is removed and the gas undergoes compression whereby Change in the volume is 10 liter because it is from 25 liter to 15 liters. So, decrease in volume or change in volume is 10 liter against the constant pressure that is 3 atmosphere. So, pressure volume work done on the gas because it is compression. How much it is? Work done on the gas P delta V is equal to P3 atmosphere into change in volume so 30 liter atmosphere now this unit we have to convert it into joules once again from this value of universal gas constant we will do it so r is equal to 0 0.082 liter atmosphere which is equal to 8.314 joules so 30 liter atmosphere will be is equal to 3041 3041.7 joules now coming to the second part that is calculate the change in internal energy. So from first law once again you know that heat exchange is equal to change in internal energy and then this pressure volume 1. So here change in internal energy that will be is equal to minus Qp. This sign will be negative because it is removed from the gaseous system and plus W because work done on the system that means energy is transferred from the surroundings to system so minus qp plus w so minus qp is minus 2500 plus this w work done on the gas that is 3041.7 so finally change in internal energy is coming as 541.7 joules now coming to problem number 6. Calculate the maximum work done by 5 moles of an ideal gas expanding reversibly from 5 atmosphere to 2 atmosphere at constant temperature 27 degree centigrade. So gas is undergoing isothermal reversible expansion whereby its Pressure changes from 5 atmosphere to 2 atmosphere and the constant temperature is 27 degree centigrade. So, let us see the formula already we have discussed. Here, work done during reversible isothermal expansion of ideal gas W is equal to nRT into 2.303 log initial pressure by final pressure because here pressures are given. So, now put all the values, N is equal to 5, that is number of moles, 5 moles into R, 0 0.082 liter atmosphere, temperature 27 degree centigrade means 300 Kelvin into 2.303 log, then initial pressure 5 divided by final pressure. Now, when we will put all this value, finally W, that is work done by the gas, will come out as 112.71 liter atmosphere. So, these are the three problems based on first law of thermodynamics. Hope you have understood. Thank you.